Hi, my name is Siggy Okenfall and I'm lead course developer and instructor here at Point Blank Music School in East London. Today I'm going to put Ableton's new push controller through its paces by making a track exclusively from sampled vinyl. One of the most exciting features of the new push is the waveform manipulation by this lovely high-res screen. It means there's now even less need to look at your computer while you're making beats. Live Simpler and Sampler have also been updated to include one-shot and slice modes as well as time stretching, so there's loads to investigate. If you want to learn how to use Ableton Live, then don't forget to check out our courses at www.pointblanklondon.com. So, without further ado, let's get sampling. So, I'm back from the record store, got a bunch of vinyl, and I've had a listen through and um, found some good samples. So, uh, I'm going to record these into Ableton Live, just put them on some consecutive clips, uh, and then we'll try and build a track. So first of all, I've got this one, Scott the Rock, Keras One, old school hip hop. It's a track called Super Ho. So let's uh, see if we can find the beat on this. Yo, Chris, I really knocked the boots in those two big butt females last night. Jeez. Yeah, man, I'm on my way on the Latin Quarter to find two more freaks. Word. That's the beat. Definitely something we can do with that. So, that's the first one. Uh, next up, something quite dramatically different. We've got uh, Tears for Fears, The Hurting. Um, love this album when it came out. Uh, so it's the first track. There's a beat on this that I want to get. So let's just... do very nicely. Cool, so the next couple of records are both Herbie Hancock records. Um, I'm a massive Herbie Hancock fan and this one is uh, the film soundtrack that he did which is Death Wish. Um, to be honest, I mean this album is just full of incredible samples, sound effects, Herbie putting his road through, weird uh, delay effects, echo plexes, all sorts of things. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what we can find from this. That's the one. Okay, very nice. So now we're going to go to another Herbie album. This is called Secrets. There we go. And uh, there's actually a couple of samples on this. Uh, let's see if I can find it. The first one is there's a really good bass sound. Grab that. Okay, and then just before that, there's a really nice chord. Okay, cool. So we've got five samples. Uh, the next thing is to try and build a track with those um, in push two. Cool, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, a bit of housekeeping. Uh, you can see that it's automatically named these clips. Um, so I'm going to give them some proper names so I can see what's going on. So let's just go into here. So the first one is just called K KRS Beat. Uh, the next one is Tears for Fears. It was the hurting, so let's just call it hurting beat. Uh, then we had Death Wish Stab, so let's call that Death Wish Stab, there we go. And then we've got Herbie Bass, and then Herbie Chord. Cool, and uh, I think we should kind of give these some nice colours as well, so let's just randomly 
color them up. All this just makes it much easier to see what's going on. There we go. Oh, that's the same color, isn't it? There we go. And let's give this a nice green color. So we're going to start off with the beat, this Herbie beat. Uh, I'll just remind Last you night. of that. Sorry, no, it's the Keras one beat. Last night. Yes. Yeah, man. I'm on my way on a light core to find two more. So the brilliant thing about Push 2 is that we can take an audio clip and we can convert it into a simpler. Uh, all we have to do is just select the clip we want to convert and just press this convert button here. There we go. So it's uh, put it into simpler and then we Last can just night. play it yes. from here. Yeah, man. I'm on way on a light. So I'm just going to find That's the right night. start yes. point yeah, here. Yeah, man. I'm on way on a light core to find two more freaks. Word. There we go. So I'm just going to scroll over to there. This can be quite rough actually because I actually want to slice this beat up. So I'll just find a good rough from end point as well. There we go. So yeah, in order to slice it up, it's very simple. We just go to the mode and then slicing and you can see that it does it instantaneously. It's uh, detected the transients and it's populated these pads here so we can play play all these, uh, all these hits and it's done a pretty good job to be honest. Um, I mean it's a great kick and snare. I like this open hi-hat. What we can do is that we can nudge the start point of the next slice just so that it gets rid of the tail. You can hear there's a little bit of a noise there so if I just zoom in and then just nudge that back. There we go and we can do the same thing with these just nudge this and the start point of that so we have okay let's try and put it in here we go uh, let's make sure the metronome's on yes Great, so we've got our first beat in. So let's go back to session mode now. And uh, we're now gonna look at the Tears of Fears beat. So I'm just gonna select that, go through exactly the same process, convert, press simpler, go to note. There we go. Now this, I actually want to loop up. So I'm gonna find the start point. I'm gonna try and get a, a much more of an accurate start point for this. So let's zoom in. There's the so it repeats. Okay, so let's, again, let's just zoom in a bit more so we get a really good start point and then go to the end point. Okay, so this. Um, I want to warp and this is one of the great new features of Simpler is that we've actually got real-time warping. So in order to do this, I just press this uh, top button here, it says Simpler and uh, this gives us all the uh, editing uh, facilities of the Simpler and if I just go over to warp, it's actually automatically put warp on for me which is great but what I need to do is press this warp as two bars button here, there we go, and let's put it in time. So if I just play along now with uh, the beat that we put in. Might need a bit of tweaking, but let's record that in anyway. It actually might sound quite good if, if I play it up a little bit here. That's the great thing about warping is it's keeping the same time, even if I play up the pitch. So here we go, let's put that in. You can hear that, that the beat on beat two is slightly flamming. So if I just go back to and maybe just adjust the start point a little bit. That sounds good. A little more. Let's also look at the mode. We're in complex warp mode at the moment. If I maybe put that to pro 
and then take the forms down a little bit. That's going to make it sound more like the actual original beat, tumbler wise. Great, okay, so let's move on. Now let's go to the Death Wish stabs. So uh, similar thing, I'm just gonna select the Death, Death Wish clip, go to Convert, Simpler, and uh, here we go, let's find the start point. Next one along. That's the one, I really like that the Rhodes that's going along there. Let's just going a bit tighter there on the zoom. Okay, this, uh, I just want those stabs, but I'm gonna, in order to get it in time, I need to get the right loop. So I can warp it. So that's a good loop, good enough anyway. Uh, go to warp and uh, it's already, warp's already on. Click on warp as two bars. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna use the uh, envelope, the volume envelope, and just set a bit of release on this so that, so it will just tail off. So let's just uh, play along. Maybe turn the level down a little bit. Okay, let's record it. There we go. Cool, so that's sounding good, really happy with that. Um, let's now look at this bass line. Uh, so I'm going to just select that there. Uh, again, going to click Convert, put it into a simpler. And for this, I just want one note. So I'm just going to use the one-shot mode. Here's the note. That's a great one. There we go. So I just take the end point right up and then put the mode to one shot. One shot means it just plays through the sample. It's like having a really long release, basically. Um, and it's not looping it either. So let's just zoom in so we get really tight on the start point there. And I think this could be quite good if I try out the uh, some filtering. So just clicking simpler again, go to filter, maybe add a bit of resonance. Let's try out some of these lovely new filter circuits. A bit of filter drive. Okay, let's just play along. So, I like that, let's put that in. Together now, uh, let's just turn that down a little bit. Okay, so we've got one sample left, and this is this Herbie chord. So uh, just going to select that now, and again, same thing. Press convert, and uh, this is going to put it into the simpler. There we go. Great, that's perfect. So let's do a bit of editing. First of all, I'm just going to set the release. Here's the release of that. That's good. Um, then going to go to the filter, and I think this could be really good if we actually apply some LFO filter cutoff to this sound. So I'm just going to increase the, the LFO to filter here. Um, I can hear quite a lot of bottom end on that, so I'm actually going to uh, take some of that, take some of that with the EQ. So add device. Let's just go down to audio effects. Let's just find an EQ three, 
Now you can see how easy it is with uh, the browsing now to get these. So let's just take the gain load down. Cool. Go back to simpler. Let's just work a little bit more uh, on this LFO. I'm just going to go to the LFO here and at the moment it's in free mode, so let's put it into sync, so it's actually syncing with the, uh, with the beat. There we go, and let's try a square wave. That's great, and we can just tweak that now. Just take a bit of that release off. And this could be quite nice uh, with some ping pong delay on actually as well. So let's just add device again. Go down to audio effects, ping pong delay, load that, take the dry wet down, let's try the beat delay of one. Come on, let's just play along and see how that sounds. So let's record it in. Cool, so I've got a beat going and I think it'd be rude not to actually try it with an acapella, hip hop acapella. So uh, I've got uh, a classic Beastie Boys track, Sure Shot, and uh, I'm gonna try it out now. So let's just, uh, let's just try doing a bit of a live jam. I'm just gonna use muting for the moment to uh, mute the things that I've put in, the parts that I've put in. Um, so let's just see what we've got. Uh, So there we go, um, really enjoyed doing that. I mean, Push 2 really does make such a difference to sampling. I mean, I, I haven't looked at the screen at all while I've been doing this. Uh, I mean, the, the waveform manipulation means that you can really kind of get in deep and get loops and, um, you know, slice up beats so you can put them on pads. It really is a kind of whole new world. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys can have fun too.